told you. Well, it was more like about five seconds. Just don't want these videos going too long in case that's the issue I've been having. Yeah, I went around. Oh god! Why would you do that? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Don't hit me, please. Oh god, it hit me. I'm at one hit left! That one over there stuck. Just chip away at its health. Ah, uh, nope. As soon as I got close. Using your battery sparingly? No way! I think that Energizer achievement was for using like, I think, 15 or 20 batteries. Mainly because my first playthrough, I didn't get that until like the last level because I was like, no, I need to save my batteries. And I like kept getting more and more. I just never used them. And again, for some reason, I was way better my first time through on this game. Hello? Lights on in the house. I feel safe. Flare gun ammo. Oh, great. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things for my story. They ring true. They fit. It's really cool that he mentioned Lovecraft right there. I've been reading a lot of Lovecraft books lately. No, I'm not going to switch to a hunting rifle, because I have this. But, yeah, uh, that video he was just, that video I just saw myself in really reminded me of Lovecraft. So it's really cool that they made mention of him. Alright, so it's over there. I'm going to go this way. Quick, climb the ladder before the darkness can reach me. Derp, 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 derp. Oh, I can't jump and grab on it like I do in most games. I'm playing Sly Cooper Collection again. Really anxious about number four, heck yeah. I was told that it's being made by a different company, but really, after I saw that trailer, I'm like, they have the same voice actors and it looks really good. So, I'm actually really flipping anxious about the it. kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Alright, how do you get my number? Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, Sly 4. Uh, I'm the biggest Sly Cooper fan, like, or, or about out of anybody I know. Like, every person... Ah, uh, no! Everybody on my Facebook page and all that, everything. I'm the biggest Sly Cooper fan. Ever. <laughs> Not ever. There's probably people who are more, so... No, you don't! Quote the raven, you are all going to die! What's that from? Quote the raven, you're gonna die. Is that from a Hellfire Commentaries thing? I think it is. I think it's from one of their Kingdom Hearts ones. Running! But yeah, you're being attacked by swarms of birds that don't attack you until you're in a very dangerous spot. Well, that went smooth. Let's pull this bad boy out. I don't like mines. All we need are some mod genie that turn into the centipedes when their heads get shot off, and we got us a freaky story. Do I get booted in? Do I get booted in? Nope. Where am I going? It's telling me to go that way. Oh, look at that. There's a passageway. Another thing, basically saying, there are people who whispered my name. Basically saying, there are people, they try to kill you. 
It's so bright above. This is freaking me out, lady. Please stop whispering my name. I'd really appreciate that. I'd also flares. I'd also really appreciate no enemies coming in here, but since they gave me some, you know, flares, that's more than likely not going to happen. And why did I jump? Took away some of my health. Quit giving me hunting rifle ammo. I don't want to use the hunting rifle. There's a light over there, and it's telling me to go to it, but, you know, I don't want to follow the light. Bad things happen when people follow the light. See what I mean? See what I mean. And now there are going to be big shadowy demons. Yep, right behind me, too. Look at that. And I'm just standing there like, what was that noise? They're going to be people attacking me from behind, but I want to take this guy out first. There you are. <laughs> Skippity doo. Ow! What a jerk! What the heck? You're a jerk! You and your friend! <laughs> What's up there? And then something comes flying right into my face. Of course. I'd really appreciate no more of these shadow dudes in these tight areas. Exit the silver mine. Is there silver in here? Can I take some and make some bank? Buy me a better battery? I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Alright. Now, like I said uh, before, this is my second time recording this part. I said this in the last time. Uh. I first thought that there were going to be people here and they were going to smack me and one hit KO me right off the edge. And right when I was saying that during the recording, I fell off the edge and died. It was pretty humorous and I wish I still had the video. I'm not sure what happened to it. One of those weird unexplained things that the computers do that make you go... Arrgh! One of them rage things. Ah, no! No! There you go, you don't need that video. I can mess up for you right here, right now. Uh, Mr. Blue, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Blue, showing you ways you can die in video games. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Oh, I also want to say something else right now. I know I sent the mess. I sent a message to the Fire Pixie about this. Uh, she's one of the awesome people here who like us at U at ERC Film on YouTube. And uh, stop jumping, Alan, you freak. Uh. For some reason, I am not able to see the post comment option on the uh, cha on channel pages. So if you guys leave me a channel, uh, a comment or something on the channel, I am unable to respond to it. And hopefully, one of the other EHC film members will get to it. I'm gonna let them know about it. But uh, apparently, it's a problem that YouTube knows about. They said we know about this problem, so we report it. I reported it, and so far they've done absolutely nothing about it. So if you guys ask me a question and I don't get to it, uh, don't think I'm ignoring it. I just can't respond. I can't even post comments on the EHC film page. If it's something that's like urgent need or something like that, I'll send it in a message to you guys. But you know, I'm just wondering what's going on with YouTube right now, I'm trying to fix it. Alright, it's a pretty simple little puzzle, you gotta go back down. At first I was like, okay, I kick that down in case I fall down and get back up. Fall, I get back down, but I get up again. Alright, but you actually need the ladder to go across. And, there you go. Pretty simple. Resident Evil uh, puzzles are harder. But then again, I love Resident Evil. I don't even think you have to jump, I just feel more safe when I'm jumping. I'm at a checkpoint, so heck yeah. Alright. And kick it! Yeah! You show that board who's boss. Alright. Ah, oh, great, another one of these.
stupid birds, you made me look bad. I miss Courage the Cowardly Dog. I haven't seen that show in forever. My friend, uh, one of my friends in high school, in my art class, my 3D design art class, uh, made an exact replica of the mask that the the old grumpy dude puts on and goes, ooga, 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 ooga. And it was one of the coolest things in the world, and it got the highest grade in the class. Of course, that dude had that dude was full of friggin' surprises. He was the guy who like never spoke. All he did was ever all he ever did really was laugh at jokes. But other than that, we didn't really know he had a voice. And then he we found out he was in a band. I mean, he was the lead singer, and he's like screaming metal band. And I'm like, dear God, how do you do this? <laughs> 